Hello friends, this is Rick Patterson with the TheHandymanToolbox.com announcing the publication of my brand new book, 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman. This important book comes from the heart of a man who has a wife, an elderly mother, three sisters, and five adult daughters. The journey in writing this book all started on an occasion of meeting my very first client many years ago. I had officially gone into business as a handyman and wanted to get the word out into the community in which I lived. I had gone to a nearby neighborhood and began knocking doors. Yes, the old-fashioned way of marketing. The very first potential client I encountered that day was the lady of the house. I knocked on her front door. Upon opening her door, I began explaining, handing her a freshly printed flyer, who I was and what I did for a living. As she was looking through the list of services on my flyer, she asked me if I fixed gutters, to which I answered, yes, ma'am. She then did something that was quite appalling, shocking, and surprising. She said, well, come on in and let's walk to the back door to take a look in the backyard, turning her back to me and leading me through her house to the backyard. What's wrong with that picture? Excuse me while I rant in disbelief. Here I was, a total stranger that came to her front door, basically out of nowhere, handing her a flyer that I could have made up, plus giving her a made-up name. And this lady just opens the door to a total stranger, allowing me to walk through her home, especially with her back turned to me. Wow. This was the first of many situations I experienced, and of the many horror stories that were shared with me through the years as a handyman working in the homes of women, who make up 85% of my total client base. Why is it so important to learn more about the 10 common mistakes women make when hiring a handyman? Perhaps you should take into consideration all the reported crimes nationwide that have been perpetrated by, quote, a handyman recently to unassuming, trusting homeowners. These victimized homeowners were taken advantage of by repeat offenders because they did not know how to conduct an effective background check and what to look for in a handyman. Certainly you've heard the horror stories. Money and possessions being stolen. Saying one thing and doing another. Receiving payment and then skipping out on unfinished work. The list goes on and gets even worse. Many homeowners shudder at the thought of the unknown potential danger when allowing someone into their homes even for regular home maintenance and repair. Knowing what to look for can be so empowering when you search for the right handyman for you and the project. An effective handyman background check, interview, and selection of the right handyman for the home project are the ultimate goal of every homeowner with home maintenance and repair issues. Allowing a trusted handyman into one's home is critical not only for the security of property and personal possessions, but also to the safety of the homeowner and family. Ten common mistakes when hiring a handyman will decrease your likelihood of getting ripped off or worse. Oftentimes, unassuming homeowners are incredibly naive to the lack of honesty and professionalism among those in the handyman industry by not knowing what to look for in a handyman and how to conduct an effective handyman background check. Homeowners are clueless to the validity and accountability of the handyman coming to their front door. Just because a handyman has a website and a fancy business card does not give true accountability and validity to the character of that person. Oftentimes, homeowners are reluctant to report a handyman who has done them wrong for the sake of embarrassing admission to getting ripped off. So these shady handymen go on unnoticed and continue with their scams, dishonesty, and deceitful practices on countless victims. And how will you know if the handyman you contact is that guy? This is why every woman must be equipped with the knowledge and wisdom of knowing the right questions to ask to determine what to look for in a handyman, and if they are getting a handyman they can trust. Ten Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman is a powerful authority document based upon hundreds of testimonies of my own clients who have shared their personal accounts about their painful search of reliable, trustworthy handymen. Each of these testimonies have a common thread of regret, only if I would have known. 
Although there are many unpredictable variabilities in why people act in a certain way, 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman provides unique insights in how women can protect themselves from fraudulent and shady con artists. My straightforward advice in knowing what to look for in a handyman provides useful safeguards and practical tips on conducting an effective handyman background check for the selection of trustworthy handymen. You will quickly learn proven successful techniques that will empower and protect you in your search for a trusted handyman. Discover four reliable resources immediately to secure a reputable handyman. Each resource comes with built-in personal references. Ask the handyman these specific qualifying questions in the initial conversation without letting on what you are really asking. Know what four items to ask the handyman to bring to you at the estimate appointment. If the handyman does not have all four items, do not hire that man. A legitimate handyman will have all four items. Discover how to validate the handyman's credibility both before your initial call and before the quote is accepted. Use this message to qualify the handyman in your background check to discover habits and previous track record. Know what to look for in the handyman's contract. Three key areas to inspect closely. Know the one homework assignment you must not bypass before signing a handyman's contract. This big-time no-no and your risk of failure increases out the roof. All in all, there are 10 key areas in which to protect yourself before you sign a handyman's contract. Read the 10 common mistakes women make when hiring a handyman now for the highly informative insights and truth-revealing questions to ask all handymen before you schedule one to your home. Get your copy of the 10 common mistakes women make when hiring a handyman now and receive a secret bonus. Mistake number 11. Solutions to a controversial hot topic. Payment schedule. Learn to do this one proven win-win method and keep your handyman motivated and coming back every day until the job is completely finished. Get it wrong and you could run the risk of never seeing your handyman again. This one technique will save you hundreds, not to mention the headache and the stress from having a handyman go MIA, missing in action. Protect yourself now from the scams, dishonesty, and deceitful practices accepted as the norm in the home repair industry. Here are a few testimonies of the women who have already read my book. Hey everyone, just finished reading Rick Patterson's ebook, and it's called 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman. I uh, really would recommend this not for just you, the woman, but for all the women in your life. Get it today. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sue from New York. Rick's new ebook. 10 Common Mistakes Women Make Before Hiring a Handyman is awesome. Especially mistake number four. Not checking their references before accepting the bid? I wish I had this ebook before I hired a handyman on my own. Well, now I'm all the wiser for the next time I need a handyman. Ladies, don't get cheated. Protect yourself. Get this ebook now. Hi, I'm Tierra from Virginia. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just so glad I read Rick's new ebook, 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman. Now I'm smarter and just feel so much more prepared to handle hiring a handyman on my own. Please, please, please get a copy of this book for you and your loved ones in your life. They'll thank you for it. So what will it cost to get your hands on this exclusive information? Let's look at it from this point of view first. What if you don't? Are you willing to continue to run the risk of being taken advantage of by not knowing how to conduct an effective handyman background check, nor what to look for in a handyman? How much will that cost you? Can anyone really put a price tag on their time lost, money lost, or personal protection? The built-in protective nature of this information alone is priceless and could sell for hundreds. But this is not the point here. You will not pay hundreds of dollars, not even $27, for this info-packed book. 
Realizing how vulnerable you are right now by not knowing how to conduct an effective handyman background check, nor what traits to look for in a handyman, the price will no longer be an issue, but it is imperative that you act now. As a matter of fact, you can get this copy now of this powerful book, 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman for Less Than the Price of a Hamburger Meal. Simply click the link below now to get your copy of the 10 Common Mistakes Women Make When Hiring a Handyman.